happened? Did you get out of the pen? Oh. Good Thursday morning. I hope that you are going to enjoy the day today. The sun is out. The birds are singing. Um, because it looks like the next few days are going to be terrible. So, I hope you take some time today to get outside, get some fresh air, get some sunshine, because it's been a few days without the sun. Um, but I'm making a video in the truck today because we are going to be on the run today. Um, I've got to make a grocery run, feed run. I'm going to do, I was planning on doing that tomorrow, but the weather looks like it's going to be terrible. So, I'm planning on staying home tomorrow. I don't know about you. Um, so, I wanted to get a quick video in since we are actually going to be really busy today. Um, and I wanted to talk about something because I think that this has been a, a common thought or theme among people. And it's, you know, it's a comment that... I saw on social media and it struck me because I think it's dangerous to have this mindset and while this comment was pointed towards something different than what I'm going to talk about I think it's a blanket statement that again many have uh, used it's a, an opinion that many have and I'm going to warn you against to have against having this kind of mindset because it's dangerous. So, the comment that was made was that the world is changing. Adapt and survive or don't. So, I have a problem with this opinion in this in this in this comment and it makes me want to roll my eyes because this comment was preceded by by another statement in this post that the current administration has nothing to do with it and and what this individual meant was that there's a business that's closing and this individual was making a statement saying that this current and I didn't I don't know who he was talking to as far as this but he made the statement stating that this this administration had nothing to do with this business closing and so this is a great example of somebody who is zooming in on said details but doesn't understand the wide view, the, the bigger view, you know, the thing, um, can't see the forest for the trees, that statement right there, that quote, that, that saying is, is, is explaining this opinion. Our country's, our country's on fire. Like, it's a dumpster fire. It's a train wreck. And we literally have people making this statement and, and simply by saying that the world is changing and that we need to adapt to it, it's simply like sticking your head in the sand and, and living in oblivion. So, that's so dangerous. Like, it's such a dangerous place place to thinking to be I mean do you want and, and really taking into consideration the past three years do you want to live in that world do you want to do you want to live by the changes that the WEF wants us to live by or or people like the the, the likes of Bill Gates or or the ones who are pulling the the puppet strings behind Biden you want to live in that world you want to adapt to their changes that they're trying to force upon you? Or, or let's talk about the, the mentally deranged that want to sexualize the, our country, our country, the children in our country. 
You want to live by their changes? By their demands? I mean, I don't know what to tell you at this point. If you, if you feel like those changes are okay, I don't get it. I really don't. Because I don't. I'm not going to. Politicians do, in fact, influence our economy. They influence our day-to-day -day life and our future. To make a statement like that is stupid and ignorant. It really is. And the thing is, the last thing that I'm going to suggest for you to do is to adapt to their desired changes. That's the last thing that I'm going to do. Again, did you like the changes? The changes that were brought in from, from, from three years ago? Did you like that? Did you like small business businesses failing around you? And, and, and quite frankly, we haven't seen the last of it. There's a ripple effect going on. And, and we're just now seeing the beginnings of it. There's going to be a greater economical impact than anybody, anybody can consider. And I've been telling you that. There's a lot of people that out there putting it out, you know, saying the things that are going to happen as far as economically, the, the future statistics aren't good. And, and we're, we're just supposed to, you know, simply ignore, ignore what got us in that position. I don't think so. I, don't, I just, I, I don't think so. The people that make the comments like this do not understand how how small business runs. They don't understand the hurdles that, that these people go through. And a lot of times these small businesses in our area locally, and I've made posts about this, they are going to be, if things do get bad, economically they are going to be the ones who are going to have your supplies they're going to have your materials these big box stores that you shop at what do you think is going to happen to them if things go on the lockdown again or, or what have you I don't think I don't think some of these people get it I don't think they do I really don't Living in perpetual ignorance and oblivion and thinking that everything is okay and fine and dandy is part of our problem. It's part of our problem. It's an ongoing problem. And you know, there has been, and, 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 here, and here is the, it, here's the, the, the silver lining of the, of the past three years. There has been so many people that have moved into this homesteading movement. They want to grow their own garden. They see a problem with the, the, the many systems or the system. And they know what's coming. They desire that old, the old way of living, those old methods that, that I believe there was a push for change. They got us away from those old ways of living. And now we're seeing a lot of people who, who are starving for that old way because the changes, the new way isn't working. Here's the thing. We're getting farther and farther away from what God made us to do. And there's there's a lot of people who are realizing this. And they're desiring 
They're desiring to live the way God intended us to live. And you know what? If you're not awake to our reality right now, um, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, there's something else I can tell you. There's something else I can show you. If you had been in a sleep this whole time, there's something I can do to wake you up, obviously. If you're going along to get along, again, you're in a dangerous position. Christ warned us against apathy. He warned us against lukewarmness. And he warns us against laziness. That's the only, these three things, the, that mindset will lead to these three things. And if you think it is what it is, I'll adapt. You're wrong. You're, you're head down the wrong path. You're head down the wrong path. It's called fighting the good fight for a reason. It's called building endurance for a reason. Persevering. You don't do that. You don't, you don't learn how to endure or build perseverance by going along to get along. Or adapting to change. And if you're a Christian and you're going along to get along... And I've seen a lot, I've seen a lot of people do this. Just go along to get along. Be quiet. Don't rock the boat. You're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. You need to learn how to persevere. You need to learn how to remain steadfast. Be in the world, not of the world, right? They will tell you that change is necessary, that's inevitable, that we have to make progress, that we have to deconstruct, because the old way is not good enough. The old ways aren't good enough. Scripture tells us to learn the old ways. Adapting to their change is chipping away at your liberties. It's been rough. It's been rough on us for the past several years. <clears throat> It's been rough in the church. And when I say the church, I'm not meaning, you know, our church, New Life Baptist. I mean, it's been rough shedding light on things within, um, within the, the church. The church. Because they're using you. There are a lot of people that are not searching for truth. They're going along to get along and they're not remaining steadfast to the gospel or to scripture. It's been rough the past three years to shine light on the, the, the medical system, on the governmental system, Again, if you're not awake to these issues, there's nothing I can say or do that will change your mind. All I can do is pray that, that God drops those scales from your eyes. All I can hope for is that you decide to stand up and be steadfast. Because we don't need more go-along-to-get-along people. We don't. So I've got chores to do. I hope this is enough for you to think about today and the next coming days. 
I'm not sure if I'll be on social media a whole lot. I've got I've got a lot to do before this Arctic blast comes in. I hope you're preparing because it's going to get cold. I hope you've got your food, got your animals taken care of, um, checking on again the elderly people. Make sure you you got gas in your vehicles. Okay. Don't be caught unprepared. Unprepared. Today's the perfect day to get ready, right? Beautiful, beautiful weather. Okay, make plans to go grocery shopping. Make plans to um, get stuff checked on outside. Um, make preparations for, you know, electricity going out. They're saying, you know, the winds are going to be pretty bad um, going into the weekend. And then having a chance of a winter storm next week. So, prepare. Make sure you have build that checklist. Today, again, is the perfect day to do that. Remember, don't allow this uh, mindset to accept change and adapt to it. Don't do it. Remain steadfast. Remain firmly rooted. When I say that, I remember mean remain firm, firmly rooted in Christ. I hope you all have a great day.